Prophetic Words from Jesus Christ, Revealed to Jeff Byerly These are the coming events, that I have revealed to this messenger, and in the scriptures. He does not have a 100% understanding of everything that will happen, no man does, but what I have told him will happen. I have given him understanding, of the order of which they will occur, but I have not given him dates. My children I speak to you now so that you do not fear. There is so much more coming upon the earth, than even most of you realize. Trust in me for I have each one of you in the palms of my hands, and nothing can happen to you that I don't allow. You can choose to depart from my hand, but I never want that for you. When you depart from my hand, the enemy is allowed to test, try and torment you so that you run back to me, and ask me to save you. The testing that is taking place right now, will soon become much more intense. Everything that I have spoken to my seers, prophets, watchmen and to many who just listen to my voice, is coming to pass. The convergence of all the end times events, that have been foretold is at hand. I have set the time of the end of this age, by my destroyer of nations. I created it, and I alone control its path and speed. I have confounded the so-called wise men of the earth with him. They have not been able to know the exact timing, of his passing, but in the coming months its approach will be obvious to all. There are many objects that surround my destroyer, that will cause decimation upon the earth, when they fall upon it. Remember this, I direct every rock, every meteorite, every piece of hail, every fireball, every meteor, every asteroid, every star and even the burning mountains that will fall into the sea. I have set their paths in motion, and I know exactly what they will hit, and what destruction will be wrought by each one. I know each person that I will take from the face of the earth by each object. You will see these objects strike the most where sin is concentrated the greatest. Large cities will be the worst hit, because sin abounds there. America and Europe you will be hit the hardest, because you have defiled yourself the most, and turned away from me. These are some of the things, the whole world will see as effects of my destroyer. Shooting stars, meteor strikes and fiery hail, in an ever-increasing frequency. The size will begin small at first, and grow larger as time proceeds. Severe weather like has never been seen before. The seasons will become out of alignment from their normal patterns. Extreme heat will build upon the earth, until men are scorched with fire. Extreme cold will build upon the earth as well, and many will freeze to death and be buried under many feet of snow driven by gale force winds. There will be fierce storms with black skies and larger hail than has ever been seen, with very intense and powerful lightning bolts. Every strike will hit where I tell it to. There will be heavy rains and flooding, and then severe drought. It will become almost impossible to grow food, but always remember, nothing is impossible for me, I shall provide for my faithful ones. Hurricanes and tornadoes will increase in intensity so much that, men will have to increase the scales by which they are measured. Many of these storms will occur in places they would not normally be seen, and will develop very suddenly. Eruptions of volcanoes will be more violent and numerous. The ash from them, will darken the skies in many places around the earth, the lava will burn the earth for many miles around them. Larger and more numerous earthquakes in abnormal places will occur, and they will be like nothing ever seen before. The shaking will cause tsunamis in many places on the coasts, but they will be small in comparison to when the asteroids strike the oceans. The waves will be hundreds of feet tall, and cause flooding many hundreds of miles inland. Many will flee to the mountains, but none will be safe without my protection. Millions will die from this alone. Men and beasts that are not protected by my hand, will seem to go mad during this time, because of the changes in the vibration and the magnetic field of the earth. Even the skies will begin to look different, with multiple colors, like the aurora around the poles, but this will occur all over the earth. Then the skies will turn red as a warning, and then to black for three days, as my destroyer passes by the earth, but my people shall have light in their homes, even though the electric grid will be down all over the earth. This is when my faithful remnant bride, 
will rise and shine with my glory, in the gross thick darkness. This is also when the fallen angels and demons from the second heaven, shall fall from their place and be cast down to earth, like ripe figs when shaken by a mighty wind. The sky shall part, and all shall see my glory and my wrath, on that great and terrible day. During this day, which is much longer than what men call a day, the continents will break apart, the mountains will crumble, and the islands shall disappear into the sea. Men will see those things that they fear the most, like monsters and aliens from the movies that have warned them for years. It will be more gruesome and terrifying, than almost any one of you can imagine. Repent and be filled with my spirit to overflowing, and you will have the greater latter rain anointing. As the fiery hail falls from the sky, so shall my spirit set my faithful chosen ones on fire. Then you shall not fear when you see these things but you shall do greater miracles than ever seen upon the earth, and save more of the lost in a shorter time than the history of the earth. The enemy also has a plan, and he has set it in motion already, because he knows his time is short now. Much of the evil that the kings of the earth have planned to do, to the men of the earth, has been because they know that my destroyer is coming. World War will break out when the great ships of America are struck by fire. The entire military of Babylon the Great will be confused, and be in disarray, because I will no longer allow them to be victorious. The Antichrist, the first beast, the man of lawlessness, the little horn, the Assyrian, the twelfth Imam Mahdi, the false messiah, the man of sin who will be revealed, the son of perdition who opposes, and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped. He will sit as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, and he is Barack Hussein Obama. As I have told you before, the worldwide lockdown was a test. The kings of the earth will again impose lockdowns, and enforce them with military troops. The vast majority of the people upon the earth, have complied to the restrictions that have been put upon them, but this will change in the coming months. They want the people of the earth to remain silent as they lead them like compliant sheep to the slaughter. This is why they demand that those made in my image, cover their faces, it is part of their spell, over all of mankind. In the next so-called wave of this man-made pestilence, they will release a pestilence that is much deadlier than what was released before. This will most severely affect those, who have previously taken their inoculation and tests because of the poison ingredients that are in them, that will be activated. Also affect those, who have allowed the immune system that I have given them to be compromised, by using man-made chemicals, and also those who have been breathing in their own waste. This will instill fear upon the people, so they will comply with their demands, to take whatever the governments tell them to, and many will even demand their supposed cure. My people, you are not to fear this for I have said no plague shall come near those who are in the secret place with me. The men that are in high positions, want to have absolute control over the people, and they will deliver their inoculations with military personnel. You will have to make a stand and refuse it. Ask me for strength and it will be given to you by my spirit. Many shall face death because of their refusal, but some will also be forcefully injected against their will, but I will not allow their poison to affect those who know me and stand for me. They want to be able to track, all the survivors of the calamities that are coming upon the earth, so this must be done before it reaches its height of destruction, which is during the sixth seal and beyond. They also want to change the DNA, of those made in my image, so that they are no longer made in my image, but in the image of the one they worship, Satan. He wants what I have, but he will never have it and that is total control, and knowledge of everything that happens upon the earth. This is what he will try to do with his mark, combined with the advanced technology of 5th, 6th and 7th generation, but I will take it down with my destroyer. But those who take his mark will be his forever, and part of his army. He will gather his army against me, but I will cast the two beasts into the lake of fire, and slay all of his army with the sword. 
I say once again, do not fear my beloved. Those who know me, will be safe underneath the shadow of my wings, in the secret place of the Most High. This is true, though many of my own will be taken from the earth by the destroyer. The secret place of the Most High, is a place in the spirit with me, not physical location. It is by my mercy, when I take my own home to be with me, it is not a judgment upon them. To live in this world, and be lights in the darkness is to emulate me, but to die is truly great gain. I will receive each one of my own into my waiting arms, and they shall be with me forever. Those who need more testing and refining, will be left upon the earth, so that they learn to overcome sin, and most will make the ultimate sacrifice and die for me. My faithful remnant bride will help these out of many impossible situations, and help me reap the final great harvest. Then we shall all go and eat in the marriage supper of me and my bride. Oh how we long for that day! After that day we shall never be separated again. On the other hand, my enemies will be crushed and utterly destroyed. My enemies will not escape my wrath, no matter what they do, and no matter where they go and hide, I will find them. Many of them shall be crushed in the very places they thought would be safe. Some of them plan to escape to a place off of this planet, but I already know where they will be, and they will suffer my wrath. Our will shall be done on the earth, as it is in heaven. All will know that I am the Most High God. I shall rule with a rod of iron from my throne in Jerusalem, with my victorious overcomers that obey my commands. Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess, that I Yahushua HaMashiach. I am Lord of, all. There is, no, other.